Our group is hoping to explore comparison of perception experience reflected in different spaces through color and sound, and the questions we want to research through the assignment will be like, how color and sound affect people's perception in a certain space, by choosing what kind of technology to present such comparisons. What kind of color grading we can use in video editing? How to choose the appropriate sound effects to match the video? According to our weekly exercises, four of us chose the different way and location to explore senses. Fortunately, there are three ideas that we all used in these works, which are using color, sound effects, and split screen to change audience perception. And we want to fit into our group work. For example, in our exercises, using black and white movie in order to highlight the horror atmosphere, using strong color contrast to give a strong visual impact. In addition, the split screen is also a good way to show the difference between two scenes. Let's show some works from our earlier assignments. Replaced by dark, and the light that will lit in the dark. The article I have researched mainly talks about the sound design. It illustrates the basic introduction of sound design, and how sound designers work on it in cinemas by listing some examples. The article refers that the practice of post-production sound. Constructing the soundscape afresh fits with Tor's propensity to conceive action in predominantly visual terms and encourage the sound designer to employ sound creatively rather than referentially. The idea I think can be used in our group assignment is that we can visualize actions and then record sound. And we also should know how to employ sound creatively rather than referentially. The article lists an example about the film "That Day on the Beach," directed by Edward Yang, sound designer Tu Dunqi, demanded that the female lead Sylvia Chang dub the subtle sounds of swallowing saliva, opening the mouth, and breathing. Then he added the room tour, ambience, and noise to create a realistic sense of space through sound. The combination of action sound recording based on visualization and creative post editing makes the final sound effect more realistic and even sounds like synchronized sound. That is a point which we can apply to our group assignment. There's an idea mentioned in the reading, which caused me to think that split screen is indeed a good filmmaking technique, but how to use it to play a positive effect. Further linking to our group project, I think that the use of split screen for comparison can clearly reflect the very different environments and lifestyles between the two locations during this particular period. It also adds some fun to the presentation of the video, but we need to put more effort into shooting and editing to make the split screen scene connected more closely. Ah,、uh, I did research about how colors or colored environment can affect working performances, influence mood and inf- emotions, cause the particular behavior, and create a perception or negative perception to surroundings. Uh, according to the authors, color is viewed as the easiest element to transform the trait of the surrounding in interior, uh, design. In spite of providing character to space, it is also used to influence human health, behavior, 
as well as decision making with or without their realization. Particularly, color is said to be subtle stimulus with a silent impact, which has been influencing human life sociologically, physically, psy-、uh, physiologically, and psychologically on a daily、uh, basis, and has presently been accepted widely. The article explained that people see color differently depending on one's perception of the phenomenon. Again, the author contends that color is individual's illusion. Well, the world is considered to、uh, be colorless. In this case, light is has been found to be a significant factor in the appearance of a color. Bernier and other researchers inspired me to balance or unify the colors of the entire film by using some tools in the editing software, or by creating a fixed color template. For example, I can use Premiere to create such a color template. Ah,、uh, now I will present how is our group managing remote collaboration because of the impact of the epidemic. Our team members can only work via WeChat to discuss. Our work includes pre-preparation, near-term filming, and post-production. At the first meeting, we have assigned our respective tasks, and we will communicate with the team members in real time through WeChat during the execution of the tasks to ensure the work process. After completing the tasks. We will have a second round of formal teleconferences to discuss the、uh, existing problems and、uh, propose the improvement measures as well as the next phase of the task.、Uh, let's move to the second question.、Uh, we have two members in Australia and two members in China. The current distribution of filming and recording work is as follows. Two members in Australia share some views about Australia and and record the sound of the kitchen and so on. Another member and I will record some videos and the sound in China. Now moving to the third question. During the remote work, we will set up a shared document in the Google Drive. If we cannot turn over the online wall, we will inform the team members in time. And send the vid、uh, video through WeChat and email, so that the team members can receive the footage and some information in time. Our team members have already shot some of the footages in their cities, but these footages may or may not be used eventually. I think we can use the camera to achieve a balance of virtual effects. We just try to. Capture some videos in sight at the beginning, and we didn't have a complete shooting list. We may make a shooting list later, because they are all relatively trivial fragments in life. I think it may be possible to show the contrast effect through the split screen of the two cities. But can we find a better way to show it? For example, in the end. We unpacked our movie into several different fragments in the form of a website. I want to ask the question: Can our research topic be passed to the audience through the natural sound of the video, or may it be through voiceover? I hope to also receive some feedback about the footages that have been taken. Thanks.